Hey everybody, it's Kim and it's 2021. Happy New Year. We're back with another episode of Empower and today I want to talk about the importance of perspective um, and the title for today is Balcony versus Basement. Now there was this book I read a long time ago. Um, it was written I think like in 1989 or something. I read it not then, but I read it when I was, I think, in middle school or high school. And um, let me get the name of it right. It's called Balcony People. And um, it was written by Joyce Landorf Heatherly. And what she was saying is there are two types of people in the world, um, and you can have them in your life. They can either be... Um, people who are on the balcony of your life cheering you on or they're in the basement of your life and they're trying to bring you down. And that's true. Um, and it's something that we all have to kind of deal with and decide where we want certain people in our lives. But today, the perspective I want to bring it from is, are you your own basement? or balcony person. Because so much of what informs how we behave is what we believe about ourselves. Whether it started with someone else being in our basement and saying something or being on our balcony and saying something. So much of what we allow to lead us or what we pay attention to the most is our own take on ourselves. We can hear people say, say for instance, you've heard somebody say in your life, oh, you're so smart, you should do this. Oh, you're so talented, or oh, you're so creative, or you're so this or that. And you can hear this from multiple people for years and just never decide to take action on it because it's not what you believe about yourself. So much that happens so often. Uh, so... I want to talk to us at the top of this year about being your own balcony or basement person. I want to preface that with we all, I'm not talking about being realistic. I'm not talking about um, knowing your strengths and weaknesses. I'm talking about giving yourself a shot. I'm talking about how you view life, whether you should do something or not, whether you're worthy or not, whether you're deserving or not, all of those things that stem from how you see yourself. Um, I want to talk about it. And what I really wanted to focus on, what I thought about when I remembered this, was that people usually speak from the vantage point where they are. Normally, when we're in a difficult time and we're struggling through something um, in life, we tend to talk about what we're seeing. This is difficult. I'm struggling. Why is it so hard? Who can I get to help me fix it? You know, those kinds of things. But we speak from the vantage point of where we are, meaning sometimes it takes us a while to, to look up and be like, oh, but I was headed that way. So let me focus back on that. So often we speak from exactly where we are. And it's important that we don't live in the basement because that's usually what we what we focus on. It's even like when we're driving. And if, you're, if you've ever driven in a valley, you might know that there's a mountain over to the right or the left and that you're coming up on uh, the ascent and you're coming up, you're going to the peak of it. But until you get there, what you see directly in front of you um, so that you don't run off the road <laughs> is the valley because that's where you are. So it's important that we do not allow ourselves to set up residence in the basement, in our basement, in our failure, sit in it, um, in our uncertainty, just sit there in a missed opportunity in the loss of a friendship, 
um, a missed business opportunity. It's so important that we do not go down there and stay down there. Now, I will say every now and then you need to go down there and check, check and make sure everything's okay. Meaning, take stock of yourself. Don't be oblivious. I'm not saying, like I said at the beginning, not to be um, oblivious, not to be unreasonable, not to be unrealistic or delusional. It's important that we to actually take stock of what's going on in our lives and pay attention to it. So that's what I mean when I say you visit the basement, make sure no pipes have burst, make sure you haven't missed anything important. But once you've taken stock of what's going on down there, you've checked, there's no burst pipes, there's, you're insulated, everything is good, come back up, come back up to the basement. I mean, from the basement <laughs> and go back to the balcony. Um, because there's some things that are usually in the basement that prevent you from being productive. One of the things is, it's usually dark in the basement. Some basements have, you know, some windows or, and I'm not talking about a first floor basement. I'm talking about the basement under the ground basement. So there are some places that have basements where you can kind of see like two or three inches of skyline. But then a lot of basements are just dark. They're just closed off. They don't smell good. They're dank. They're unwelcoming. And then when we go down there, usually uh, we'll hurry up if it's, especially if it's dark and you can hear sounds or whatever. You go down to the basement, you do what you got to do. You run back upstairs like, oh, thank God I'm out of there. That's the way we need to treat the basement of our mind. Go down there, do what you got to do. Check and make sure everything's okay. Then come back out. If there, and I'm not saying ignore that sometimes we end up in the basement. Sometimes things happen and that emotion is real. Feel that. Just don't stay in the basement. Take the stairs back up. Because being in a basement begins to wear on you. You begin to take on thoughts that are similar to that climate, that are a result of that climate. It's cold, it's uninspiring, it's dark, it's unwelcoming. All of a sudden, you're in that environment, you take on those thoughts. And we're talking about you yourself. You don't need that kind of energy. There's enough real life things that are going to happen to you <laughs> out on that balcony to, to make sure you understand that everything isn't peaches and cream, rainbows and unicorns. You're going to experience that and know that 100%. So you don't need the basement for that. The problem is when we, we agree with the basement thought. When sometimes that basement thought originates with us it, and, it, and it isn't from anyone else. We have to be able to recognize what is true, be objective, take stock, and when, it, and when we have, get out of there. Get out of there quick. And I could stay here and make this video super long, but I won't. So let's go up to the balcony. The balcony is a completely different experience. There's light there. One thing I wanna do is compare just the lighting difference between the what basement and the balcony. There are things that you can't see clearly in a basement because of shadows, because of dark corners. But if you're standing on the balcony, on the balcony. Wherever you look in the daytime, there's light. So you can see things clearly. You can see farther. You can see um, all the way to your left, all the way to your right, directly in front of you. You can see a farther distance. So it's so important that that is the view that you take, that you look at yourself on the balcony, you can see where you're going forward. You can see what this opportunity may bring. You can go left and right and say, now, if I turn left, 
and went this way, what would happen that way? Where would I end up? If I go right, what would happen? Where would I end up? If I go straight up, what would happen? If I go, if I end up taking the stairs down, where will I be? So the vantage point from the balcony is one reason is an immeasurable value. I can tell so much more because of where I'm standing. The truth of the balcony is, even if it's screened in, rain can get in there. You can feel the wind. Uh, things can fall down from that you have hanging up in your balcony if the wind blows too hard. Like you'll still be touched by the elements. You just won't become one of those things. So think of your life and your yourself as a multi-level home, at least two levels. Um, and determine whether, how you're going to view yourself. How important is it for you to have the right view? What does the wrong view do? What have you noticed when you get when you've been in the basement what have you noticed when you've been on the balcony what have you been able to do you can fly from the balcony even if it's screened in you can cut a hole in it and fly from there the basement no you have to break through things you have to come upstairs there's so much more work that has to be done um in the basement and if that's where you find yourself right now, know that you don't have to stay there. You can move. You can get out. If you need help, reach out. Ask for assistance. Go to therapy. Read your Bible. Pray. Send me an email. Comment on the video. Um, just don't stay in the basement. And don't allow people who live in a basement to be around you. Because as I said, people usually speak from their vantage point. So if there's somebody around you who's always down, and I don't mean legitimately about a specific situation, I mean always perpetually down, never have anything constructive to say, you can't count on them to help you say anything productive, give you good advice, evaluate that. Assess and adjust. You don't have to keep that energy around. And my lighting keeps changing because Germany is going through snow and everything else today. So we just gonna have to thug it out <laughs> on the video today. Um, but don't hesitate to reach out. Don't hesitate to get out of there. There's some work that nobody is going to be able to do but you, but assistance, guidance, encouragement, you got to get it because we can't, you can't make that much progress in the basement, not positive progress. Some of us have knocked out walls down there. We've set up rooms. We've gotten heaters and air conditioners. We just have made it our home. And then we wonder why none of our ideas ever come to fruition, why we never take the initiative, why we never do it, why it never happens, why it always feels like we're running into brick walls, because oftentimes we're running into concrete or sheetrock down there. So I just want to challenge you at the beginning of this year, if that means anything to anybody, it could be, you could see this six months from now. It doesn't matter when, whenever you see it, whenever you go down there, Whenever there's some event that it's like you feel like you have gone and ended up there and you don't know how, don't stay in the basement. Don't be your own basement person. Don't be your own basement dweller. Come up to the balcony where it's light, where you can see, where you can breathe good air, where you can be inspired by other things that you see because the world is moving on, moving around. Um, moving on around you, come up to the balcony. 
look at what's happening. Things are growing. People are moving around. You can hear cars. You can see people walking their dogs. You can see people exercising, all kinds of things that spark within you. Man, I should get out here and do something. It's a good day. It's a, today's, the, today's the perfect time to start. So that's all I have for y'all today. Well, that's all I'm going to talk about today. Um, check and see where you're living. Right up here. Check and see where you're living. And if you're in the basement, come join us up here on the balcony. Um, do me a favor. Share the video. Like the video. Comment. Uh, follow me on Instagram at empower540, M-P-O-W-H-E-R 540. Um, here on Facebook, Empower, Plain Empower. And um, on YouTube, Empower, M-P-O-W-H-E-R. Um, I'd love to hear from you, see you, talk to you. Um, and I'll see you guys on our next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.